Hello and welcome to round three of the Castle Coom Karting Championship. We've had a fantastic 36 drivers taking part in this event and these are the final eight that have made it through into this grand final and it's Michael Seaborn lining up on pole position ahead of Jacob Lewis. Ben Chick and Ben Winter line up on the second row of the grid with Matt Hallam in fifth, Thomas Cardno sixth, Harry Sadler, the championship leader and also winner of round one in seventh, and James Berling completing the grid in eighth. Wait for the lights to go green, which they do now, and it's a great start from Jacob Lewis, who gets slightly ahead of Mike Seaborn, but Mike has the inside line for the first corner and maintains the lead. So they head through into the chicane, and it's side by side for third as well, between Ben Chick and Ben Winter, and it looks like Ben Winter is up into that third place. It's Jacob Lewis challenging Mike Seaborn for the lead, and a bit further back, there's Matt Hallam and Harry Sadler side by side. And Matt Hallam's already lost a place to Thomas Cardner, who's up to fifth, and Harry Sadler there side by side with James Burling for seventh. They come across to start the seventh lap of the race. It looks like the leading three have a little bit of a gap back to Ben Chick, and Thomas Cardner there in fifth. And they're still all fairly close together as the top three head up towards the top corner. Mike Seaborn covers the inside line, stopping Jacob Lewis from getting through. And this will allow the rest of the field to catch them back up as Ben Winter takes a slightly wider line to get the run on Jacob Lewis down the hill. But it does look like fourth and fifth are already catching the leading three back up for the lead of this race. But Mike Seaborn maintains that first position ahead of Jacob Lewis. So they head through the chicane and back up the hill. And it does look like Seaborn has opened up a little bit of a gap back to Lewis but that's gone within a corner as Jacob Lewis carries a little bit more speed through that top corner. They head back down the hill and the top five are right together and Matt Hallam not too far behind in six. So they come across the line to start the fourth lap of the race now and it's still Mike Seaborn leading the way ahead of Jacob Lewis. Ben Winter looks like he's dropped back a little bit further behind. Uh, Jacob Lewis not quite close enough to challenge as Thomas Cardner has a look up the inside of Ben Chick into the top corner but Ben maintains that fourth place, keeps Thomas Cardno at bay. So heading down the hill to start the fifth lap of the race now. All eight of them are together. They head through the chicane at Seaborn with Lewis right behind him. They head up towards the top corner now. Seaborn covering that inside line again. Jacob Lewis taking that wider line and diving up the inside. Oh, what a brilliant move there from Jacob Lewis and Ben Winter through into second as well, side by side with Mike Seaborn. Mike slots back into third. So Jacob Lewis now with the lead ahead of Ben Winter. Mike left just enough space for Jacob Lewis and threw into the lead, now under pressure from Ben Winter with Mike Seaborn in third. And all eight of them are right together. Jacob Lewis now defending from Ben Winter. Ben trying to get the run coming out of the top corner, not quite able to find a way through. And it's uh, Mike Seaborn now diving up the inside of Ben Winter. They're side by side. Heading down the hill, still side by side, coming across to start the seventh lap of the race. And they are still side by side, but Seaborn has the inside line and threw into second place. And it looks like Ben Chick's now up the inside of Ben Winter. And he's got through into third. Thomas Cardno tried to get through as well, but Ben Winter was able to hold on to fourth and not lose any more places. As James Burling dives up the inside of Harry Sadler. Ben Winter trying to find a way back through into third and Harry has held on to that seventh place. Now on the final lap of the race already, and second to eighth through all together, but Jacob Lewis, after that brilliant move, is clear out in front. Will anybody else be able to make a move to head up towards the top corner? Seaborn holding on to second place now, keeping the inside line, stopping Ben Chick from having a way up the inside, but isn't able to find a way through. So Seaborn holds on to that second place as Jacob Lewis comes across to take the victory. Seaborn does hold on to second, and Ben Chick takes third. Wow, what a last couple of laps that was. But here are the points from round three, with Jacob Lewis taking the most amount of points from this round, Mike Seaborn taking second, and Ben Chick in third. The points from round three added to the points from the first two rounds has Jacob Lewis leading the way, just four points clear of Harry Sadler and Thomas Cardinal. Ben Winter fourth, Mike Seaborn fifth, and Ben Chick in sixth. Matt Hallam seventh, Jacob Hearn eighth, and Sam Slater, who missed this round, winner of round two in ninth. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon for round four.
Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, 